Henry and Charmaine were good enough to be in a portrait with me, and I started photographing them using the Twist 60, which was great because it, with, with the twist behind them, it really set them apart from the background, and it also reduces the, um, the, the crispness of the busy background with the street behind them. And so I like the way that that twist de-emphasizes the background by, by giving it that blur. But I also wanted to make a portrait of Charmaine, and I switched to the Velvet 85 for two reasons. When, when I'm making the picture of the two of them, using the 60 millimeter lens is good because it's a little bit wider and it's easier to photograph two people with a wider lens when we're standing close together. But then uh, to photograph one person, I really prefer a more telephoto length, a longer, photo, uh, a longer lens. So the 85 is perfect for doing portraits with people. Plus with the velvet effect, when I'm shooting wide open, it, it really eases the transition between shadow and highlight areas on a person's face. And I love the way that the, the fine lines just disappear and it, it emphasizes the soft light that I've got shining down in the city here. So I'm gonna keep switching back and forth between the Velvet 85 and the Twist 60 and uh, just making portraits and, and photographing town as we go down. I love your hair. You bet. Say, can I make a picture of you and your hair? Yeah, yeah? of course. My name's Levi. Hi, Levi. I'm Danica. Danica, can you yeah. make a picture? Another key to photographing people on the street is being complimentary. It opens a lot of doors, and it helps you get into a mood of talking to people. And so I think you should start complimenting people as you walk down the street, just kind of out of the blue. It's a little different than you're probably used to doing, but it's not totally weird to tell somebody that you like their haircut, or wow, what great shoes you've got, or that's, a, that's an awesome jacket, uh, beautiful car. Anything you compliment people on, they, they typically open up a little bit. Now some people shy away. That's not the guy you're gonna photograph, that's okay. If, you're, if you just start making um, a habit of being complimentary, It'll help you get in a good mood to, to talk to people, and it helps people be in a good mood to be in a picture. Especially if you say, uh, well, like Danica, who we just or just photographed right here on the sidewalk. She's got blue hair. And I said, Danica, I like, well, I didn't say Danica. I said, I like your hair. And she said, thanks. And I said, can I make a picture? <laughs> and she said, sure. Okay, I was absolutely out to just make a picture in that instance. Contrary to everything I just said about, I, I'm teaching you about making stories and stuff, but. Um, but it worked out really nicely and we had a fun time doing it and we made a story together. Um, and so I recommend that you be complimentary, but be genuine when you do it. <laughs>